to speed things up here with 9 to 5. Look at him. With Paul Heyman. We ended off in the last episode with 9 to 5 beating Daniel Bryan for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. We ended up with Mr. 9 to 5 solidifying why he's the best of all time. Why he's a legend in the making. Why he's a future Hall of Famer. And then Vicky Guerrero, after winning the world title, gives us nothing. Gives us nothing, man. See, if I was the general manager, and I just had a beast like 9 to 5, coming on Monday Night Raw the night after WrestleMania, I would book him in a title defense against a credible opponent. This is where 2K fucks up. So, what I'm going to do to speed this series along, because I don't want this going on forever, man. I'm going to have to end at some point. We're a couple months away from 2K16, and then you'll see 9 to 5 reborn again. I'm not going to show you the bullshit dark matches. I'm not going to show you these fucking bullshit, useless, waste of time matches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this, and I'm going to give you pretty much the meat and potatoes of career mode, man. Only the most important stuff from here on out. That's title offenses, pay-per-views, storylines, if they ever happen. And I'm not going to show you this bullshit, because you don't want to see this. I don't want to play through it. I have to. But I'm going to show you guys just the most, most important part. So I'm going to play through this, and I'll see you guys back in a little bit, as soon as we get to something that's worth both of our times, alright? So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, wait a hey, I wanna time? talk to you. Around here, the champion needs to pull his weight. And I don't think you've been pulling your share. So let's fix that. Your next few matches will all be title defenses. If you're a true champion, you'll get through this. And if not, I'll be happy we have a champion that's not you. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this shit, man! I just won the belt! You're already criticizing me! You believe this fucking bitch? I guess I'm gonna have to show you it! Look at me! People, look at this fucking man! Look at this man walking down the aisle like he owns the fucking joint, man. Look at him. Oh my god. I guess I am going to show you the match with Bo Dallas. Because I got to win four title defenses, man. Should be easy. And yes, I did do a video on 2K16 and the first gameplay that was revealed at Gamescom. And you guys actually pointed out the crowd had Lucha Dragon shirts on, Enzo and Cass, Kevin Owens. So those guys are in the game. I, I know that and I've seen it and I thank you guys for having better eyes than me, man. Good shit. Here we go, guys. Bo Dallas. Look at him. Can you imagine me losing to one of these fucking goons? <laughs> you know, Bo Dallas was actually WWE champion in my universe mode, man, until Daniel Bryan cashed in his briefcase. Apparently he was money in the bank briefcase holder. If you guys are not following me on Twitch, man, WWE, man, is my number one thing on Twitch right now, man. It's fucking fun. It's great to interact with you guys. And I'm looking to build my Twitch and my YouTube channel off 2K16, man. It's going to be great. Uh, I think I'm going to put more stock in 2K16 than Black Ops 3 at this point, which is out in a couple weeks for the beta. Definitely going to let you guys know about that. going to bring some gameplay all week, probably daily. I'll be on that shit all week, man. I took that week off. All right, Dallas. Enough pandering to the crowd, bro. You 
you're gonna get your ass kicked, and this is what it's about, people. The heavyweight championship. Can't imagine this being any more difficult than it than it has been, man. Look at me. Challenger, Bo Dallas. I don't know what he did to deserve a fucking title shot. But, uh, here we go. And there's no loading times in 2K16 from what I'm hearing between matches, man. Just goes right into it. This is bullshit. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Over. That's it, not, that's it, bro. Show him how to wrestle, man. Look at me. Oh my god. Get out of here, you fucking fool. Come oh on, man. You can't get one over on nine to five, bro. This is the world heavyweight champion you're talking about. Look at a manhandle you. Are you fucking kidding me, Bo Dallas? Oh, big elbow dropped there by Bo Dallas. Get over here, bro. Look at this reversal. Come on, man. Look at the power. Shirts, man, they say, look at the power! Another vertical suplex. Boom! Dallas is going down, man. Drop that leg drop. Uh, showing you the athleticism. Look at it. Another one. This is too easy, folks. This is too fucking easy. The Heyman knows. Heyman knows. Now we can say it collectively, people. Look at the power! What happened, bro? This is the World Heavyweight Champion, motherfucker. Huh? I'm not a credible champion, huh? Fucking loser. <laughs> Too easy, man. Didn't even break a sweat. That's right, man. Drape that title up. Drape that title over your shoulder. Oh yeah. Hopefully after all this, and I prove myself to Guerrero like I haven't proven myself already. Hopefully they grant me another title match, man, against Daniel Bryan for the world WWE world title. Look at me. Your test from general manager win all four title defenses, man. You just defended the World Heavyweight Championship and have been awarded a bonus, including salary and title defense bonus. Your total VC earnings for this match was 40000 That's a nice little payday for 9 to 5, bro. Nice little payday. Who do you got next for me, Guerrero? We're going to run right through, right through this, man, in one episode. One episode, you're getting all title defenses, bro. What do we got next? Oh my god, the rematch. Punk and 9 to 5. Look at him. Now we're in Mexico, man. That doesn't sound good already. We're in Mexico. 9 to 5 doesn't wrestle well against lag in front of the Mexican crowd, man. 
I'd blow right through this. We're going to see the introduction. You know how beastly he is. CM Punk, though. Look at him. Nine to five manhandled him, man. Vicky Guerrero sent CM Punk out before WrestleMania. And if Nine to five lost, he would have lost his shot to Punk, but Nine to five prevailed as always. As always. All right, Punk, we don't need to see your entrances, bro. This is title defense number two, man. Title defense number two. Bo Dallas was number one. Seems like the challenges are just getting harder, man. Now we got Punk. Now we got Punk, man. What a main event on Monday Night Raw. If Punk was only in the WWE still. Let's see how this goes, man. Uh-oh. That's it, 9 to 5. Look. Everybody's on their feet already, man. They know this is going to be a fucking classic. They know this is going to be a classic, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got it, got it, got him. Another collar and elbow tie-up. Punk got the advantage now. No, you don't, bruh. No, you don't, bruh. Look at me. Oh, now he's got luck. Punk gets up. Punk reverses it. Beautiful. Nine to five said, fuck that, man. Fuck that, bro. by Punk. I wonder what Heyman's thinking about watching this, man. One of his former client. Look at this shit. Look at this. We need to regroup. We need to regroup, man. Fuck this guy. Yeah, what happened, Punk? Come on, man. I don't want to get stripped of my title, man. Get back in the fucking ring. Not if I'm gloating already, man. Turn around. Punk's in the ring. Drop the leg, drop the leg. I was going for the moonsault again, man. Come on, man. What a fuck, what a right hand by nine to five. What the fuck? Come on, man. This guy's gaining momentum. Referee, get out of my way, bro. Look at this. I, I don't understand. It. I don't understand the reversals, man. That's right. Look at the reversals, man. Wow.
This is crazy, man. My, 9 to 5 may lose the fucking title to CM Punk right now. Dude, he may lose the fucking title. I can't reverse nothing. Dude, look at this shit, man. Get the fuck up. Man, this game is fucking broken. I can't move. I can't move, dude. I cannot move. Dude, pin him. Pin him. Oh my god! I fucking hate this piece of shit! What the fuck?! Pin him man! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! He's got his special, dude! I'm done! I'm done. Dude, I'm fucking done, dude. He's got his special. This game is fucking trash. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look at this guy. I don't believe it. I'm done, dude. I'm gonna lose the fucking title. I'm gonna lose the fucking title, dude. If I pull this off, it's a miracle. I'm not even going for the fucking budget cut. Pin him! Jesus Christ! Nine to five blocks the fucking... The GTS! And then he gets it again, he hits it on me anyway! That was the toughest match I've had so far. The toughest match I had so far, man. What a ridiculous piece of shit, man. Doesn't want to get in the ring. Doesn't want to pin him. That doesn't show you why 9 to 5 is a fucking beast. I don't know what to fucking tell you, people. I really don't. Instant classic. Two down, two more to go, man. I don't believe it.
If it's gonna be this difficult, man, fuck that. Good thing 9 to 5 is set up for fucking success, otherwise I would have been dead. I would have been beat. I would have been beaten. Holy shit. What's next? Damien Sandow? At least keep the string of fucking tough opponents coming, man. Bo Dallas and CM Punk and Damien Sandow? Doesn't make any sense, man. Alright, we're gonna skip the intros, people. You guys know he's a beast. We're gonna get right into it. Damien Sandow coming out like Baron Blade. Oh my god. Look at him. Look at him. Here we go, people. Championship match number three. I don't know what to tell you, man. Can't be any tougher than that. Last match, punk. Fucking Christ. Nine to five is definitely set up for success, man. He looks a little bit more confident in this match. I'm saying they got the best of him there. Look at this shit. Really? What the fuck? I can't find the fucking right combination. Take him over. Take him to take him to school, bro. Another collar and elbow tie. Listen, people aren't here to see chain wrestling, man. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. it's a reversal why would it be fucking piece of shit man look at this fucking garbage sit down sand out fucking end this quick get him up Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing, 2K. Guy's dizzy, but he blocks a fucking spinning heel kick. Look at this guy. You can't, you can't reverse it! getting frustrating now. End it. Oh, of course he blocks it. This game sucks. This game sucks. This game is fucking awful. Dude, I'm done. Dude, if I lose to Damien Sandow, I'm fucking done. Pin him. I don't even fucking care, man.
Best flood drop in the business, man. I'm fucking frustrated. Yeah, sure thing. Dude, I don't believe... Dude, this is fucking ridiculous. It really is. It really is. It really is. How he even has a fucking finisher is fucking ridiculous. Next time I'm not even using the budget cut. When I get it that fast, I'm not using it. I'm just gonna fucking save it. That's the second time in a row it was reversed. There's no point. And then he kicks out, he kicks out of the fucking uh, the jackhammer. But then that finishes him off. That better have finished him off, man. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam versus Mr. 9 to 5. Man, this is a fucking damn good main event right now. Match number four in Vicky Guerrero's gauntlet, man. Can we do it? Dayton, Ohio. Home to the very first King of the Ring in 1993 on WWE pay-per-view, man. Yes, we know, Mr. 9 to 5 is the beast. World Heavyweight Champion, RVD. From Battle Creek, Michigan, look at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this shit over with, man. Four weeks in a row of World Heavyweight Championship matches, man. That's the prize right there. Van Dam, the challenger. Nine to five, the beast. Here we go. If we got through the other three, this should be a fucking walk in the park, man. Night Spy's ready. Look at him. Got in a couple of cheats. Look at that. I can't find the fucking combination. Yeah, sure. God, this game is so fucking unrealistic, bro. How would he reverse something like that, man? He just got thrown into the turnbuckle and bounced off of it. He had no idea what the fuck was going on. Oh, come on, RVD. What happened, bro? That's 
try not to punch. Punish him. Come on, man, this guy's getting his ass kicked. RVD. Too little, too late, bro. What happened, Guerrero? Huh? What happened, Guerrero? And that's it, folks. There's a drifter fan. Look, there's a drifter fan in the crowd, man. Get the fuck out of here. Look at them! Let's see what Guerrero has next, folks, before we end this episode, man. Four title defenses, man. Four epic title defenses. Where else are you going to see that in one video for 2K, man? Nowhere. 9 to 5 is the absolute fucking best at what he does, man. That's it, Guerrero. You should give me Daniel Bryan in the WWE Championship, man. Right now. Right now. Daniel Bryan defended the WWE Championship against the Big Show at Extreme Rules. Fucking Christ. Get me a pillow and a fucking NyQuil. Please. What do we got next? I don't have anything lined up for you this week. Oh, great job with the creativity, uh, 2K. See, this is what I don't like, man. This one needs to be changed. You're a WWE World Heavyweight Champion. You should always be involved in something, man. No matter how small or how big. This is fucking bullshit. I will not be showing you guys... These fucking tune-up matches, man. I'm just not. Well, I could go for a title defense. Are you willing to defend your title tonight? Uh, title tonight? Do you think you have what it takes to retain the championship? If not, then I guess you can enter a, either a dark match or a tune-up match. What happens if I don't defend my title? Are you going to take it from me? We'll find out what happens, man. But regardless of that, that is the storyline that we just got through. Four title defenses Guerrero wanted. Four title defenses, successful by 9 to 5. If you enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I want you to fucking choke slam that subscribe button. The number one source for WWE 2K and news and rumors right here on YouTube.com. This is JD. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next My Career video. Talk to you later.